Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video, like I said, we're going to be focused on building the hydrophonic bed. And to build this, it's, relative, it's a relatively simple process. We're going to need two pieces of plastic, a piece of dirt, two iron hole, one piece of fertilizer, two gold gears, and one simple machine frame. How do you get this fertilizer? That's the only thing that we have never really, you know, utilized thus far. Well, for one, we're going to need this sewage composter in order to get this fertilizer. So let's see what we need for the sewage composter. So we're going to need two more pieces of plastic, a furnace, two pistons, one pity machine frame, two brick, and one iron gear. Okay, so let's build that, shall we? Okay, we have the country. Well, let everything go through and be processed. <laughs> okay, so now we have our sewage composter. Let's see what this thing actually needs. So this definitely needs RF. And what fluid? It's going to need some sewage. Okay. So let's see. If we search up sewage here, like I just typed in sew, we can see how to get sewage. So we're going to need ourselves a sewer. Okay. So to get this sewer, we're going to need two pieces of plastic, two bricks, one pity machine frame, another iron gear, and an iron bucket. Okay, so let's quickly try to make one of these, shall we? Let's control click, let's make those things. Um, let's make this iron gear. That should be everything that we needed. Give a sewer. Let's place this down here just to see what we're going to need. So we're going to need sewage, and I... Don't think it needs essence, but I think it can make essence. I'm not sure. As well as it's going to need some RF. Okay. Now, how do we gather the sewage, you may ask? Because that's literally all it says. It just says, you know, you need to have a sewer and it's going to magically make you sewage. Well, that's actually really simple. I've actually set that up already. So let's go through and head over, of course, to a mob farm building. Okay. Yeah. If you're wondering what those doors are, those are garage doors for my cause, and the remote I have in my hand is a garage remote. And I've placed that as the main doors all the way around on each of my big structures. Okay, so over here, you can see we have a little fenced off area with some sheep. And we have our sewer connected right here with power. We take a look. Right underneath it, in the form of that quantum entangler portal. Then, to the back of it, we have this basic mechanical by piping all of the, whatever it is that this produces all the way into the sewage composter. Now, you can probably guess what's, what this sewer is actually doing. So, click on it here. You can see we have power from our quantum entangler porter. Now, I did give it a whole host of upgrades, which I'll get into just now. This first tank here is what's going to generate sewage, and this tank is going to have essence in it. Sorry about that. I kind of lost my train of thought. All right. So, as you see, this is the range without the upgrade. And the tier 2 gives us, you know, a, quite a decent amount of range. So, what this sewer needs, like I said, it's going to need power, obviously. But once it has mobs, and it could be any amount of mobs on top, it's going to take the sewer, it's going to generate sewage from those mobs that are above it in this range right here in this green box so any amount the more mobs you have probably the better it's going to be for you know your sewage output and then the mechanical pipe is pulling that sewage out and sending it down below into our sewage composter okay so let's head back down now in the sewage composter that i have down here again we have power running to it and we have the sewage right there if you take a look, you can see the sewage is being pumped in and it's actually producing quite a bit of fertilizer. So I'm just going to pick these up manually for now. Eventually, I may connect this into our refined storage system to man automatically do this. But that's the relatively easy process to go through in order to get yourself this fertilizer. So again, the process is build yourself a sewer, put some, give it power and run some power and run some mechanical cables out from it anyway basically any way that you can get to transfer the the liquid sewage into the sewage com composter the sewage composter once it has power and sewage it will get produce the fertilizer that you need 
let's go back in. Let's close that door. Let's check something. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to put these things away. Send all of that. Now we have quite a good supply of fertilizer in our refined stored system. So let me see if I have a pattern for a hydro. Okay, so we do. So I'm going to build, I don't know, say 10 of these. And we're going to let the system actually produce this. So I'll be back once this produces all 10 of these hydroponic beds. So some time has passed and these hydroponic beds have been crafted. So let me grab them. Now we have a total of 15 of those because I had produced 5 or comma just for experiment purposes with these seeds. So we're going to go back to our little compacting machine over here. This is the maximum size again that we're going to be utilizing. So in here, now I've placed on the floor and some pillars on the side just for, you know, decorative purposes. And we're going to grab these hydroponic beds. And we're going to place one of them in front of this hydro... This quantum entangler porter and this quantum entangler porter all it's going to be really set, focused on is generating uh, giving us output of energy so let me just disable the rest of these Right, so we only have energy being outputted on our faces. I might as well take off the gears as well too. So one's here. So this this hydroponic bed is getting power, but it's not getting, you know, necessary fluids that it needs, which for those of you that don't know, you need ether gas and you need water. So the easiest way to do this, we would take another hydroponic bed and connect it to this one. So this sort of is, becomes a multi-block structure. So as you can see now we're getting water and both of these have power. So if we place this one here now, now we'll see the systems getting ether gas as well as water. So if we check our metal boy, he has, you know, water and ether gas. And you can keep on expanding this entire setup like this. While editing this video, I realized I did not explain what these ender tanks contain. This one here contains water and this one contains the ether gas. Each of these tanks have a pairing either in the overworld, in the case of the water, and in the case of the ether gas, it has its matching pair in another compacting machine right above the widow. I have set each of these ender tanks up to auto distribute by turning the dial upside down so that the red is on top on both of them. And what that means is any block that is attached or connected to any of these ender tanks will get the fluid that that ender tank contains or holds. And because of the multi-block nature of each of these hydroponic beds, it will allow it to distribute both water, ether gas, and power in the case of the quantum entangler water to each of the hydroponic beds. I hope that explanation has made that a little bit clearer. So I'm probably going to go to like about here on both sides. So I could probably start going across like this. Now, this is definitely going to be a definite strain on our system for now, as it's going to slowly build everything up, because as you can see all the way over here, it only has two miller buckets. Probably not the best to actually, you know, connect them this way, but this is one way you can actually connect them. I may eventually change this up, but for now, this will work. Now, underneath them, what I am going to do, however, is dig out this tunnel here. Actually, yeah, let's remove some of the, those three on the end because I don't think we really need it so big. This should be more than sufficient. We're going to place a logistic pipe. Can I get to configure this though? Ah, yes. Thank <laughs> you. 
Now, I know my quantum entangler porter works over there, so I can potentially just use another quantum entangler porter to basically wirelessly export everything. So, real quick, off camera, I decided to go and craft myself some a quantum entangler porter, and this is going to be a brand new one. So, we're going to set this here. We're going to create a brand new channel. So, it's going to be... Items input, right? And we're going to disable most of these faces because we don't want any of, well, fluids for sure. We don't want gases are going to be off. It's not going to have any slurries. Energy, we're going to disable as well. Heat will not be produced. So, items we want to actually have right around. So, that's one sec. Okay. So, we break you. And put this like so we're gonna set you back onto item input and we're just gonna set all spaces to basically be inputs so this way if any item comes from the top it's gonna be pushed down into this any of these items over here are also going to be pushed through our our logistic transporter pipe right into a quantum entangler porter on the other side in the overworld I will set up its counterpart but for now this will do Let's get back out some pieces of wood and let's fill back in the floor. Like so. Alright, so now if we check back, each of these hydroponic beds are filled with water and are filled with ether gas for the most part. It does slow down towards the end, but for now this will get us by. So, from the center here now, I'm going to place our diamond seeds, which we have to shift click into it. And then I'm basically going to place the rest of these seeds in. So, one cool thing with this, though it's a little more late game kind of, you know, hydro, uh, um, plant grower, you can actually see the process and how long it actually takes to produce a full-fledged, you know, item. So, if we check this, we can see we already have ourselves a diamond essence. So, now I'm going to put the netherite, the iron. This was, oh, that was obsidian, not netherite. Now I'm putting on netherite. Um, this is the fire seed, so I'm gonna put you there. And I can go over and actually remove. Let's just head back to our go, please. Uh, go, go sh hut over here. I believe I had already taken this down. I'm not sure. Okay, no, these actually have I think still in them. So we can get the earth seeds out. We can get the nether seeds out. More iron seeds, which, you know, we already have growing. Wood seeds. More wood seeds. Ice seeds. Okay. So now this entire setup here is completely rendered useless. And I'm actually going to, off camera, I'm actually going to clean this up and remove everything from here. So let's hop back out. And let's close our garage door again. Hop into this. And we can basically start placing down this. Um, obsidian, iron, and your fire. So I'm going to put the netherite right here. I'm going to put the earth there. We can put the ice here and we can put the wood here. Okay. Let me check and see something though. Because clearly it seems that one thing isn't actually extracting this so output we want this to push to to the bottom let's break this it should be extracting right in oh wait yeah it is set up properly never mind i forgot that i just simply didn't set up on the outside its counterpart so on the outside now, let's clear some of these things out of my inventory. Let's make ourselves an importer. Oh, we have one actually crafted. Nice. And I suppose to have another quantum entangle porter like here. And where should I put you so that way you're quickly connected into the system? I can put you right here. And we're going to set you to items input. And we're going to go to the items channel and basically just set all sides to the output. 
let's eject on and we're going to attach the importer right there so now it's going to be able to import all of the different items that are coming through from our little block over here so if we check back each of these well eventually it will run it'll empty out if it's too slow i may change the system to basically use utilize the drawers but i'll monitor this for now and see how well it's doing but this as you can see is much more efficient than actually utilizing the garden closures but i guess that's what you that's to be expected considering it's utilizing eater gas which isn't which isn't something that you'll easily get early on the garden cloche though you know it was providing a vital function is something that you can kind of get pretty early on but this eater gas requires a little bit more late game stuff so i guess that's probably one thing to expect that this would definitely be performing at a much better rate than our garden closures and i think we can actually improve this even more by putting in different um upgrades into here but i'm not sure about that so you know what let's actually go check that right now shall we so i'm gonna go and craft the different speed upgrades so let's see that right now speed actually hold on industrial that's not how you spell industrial okay so let's go after speed upgrade let's start off the processing upgrade and let's craft an efficiency upgrade so here's our speed here's our processing and let's wait until the efficiency here's our efficiency upgrade okay now we're up, uh, back in our in our little machine here and yo yep this is definitely really quick so we can get this you know cranking basically in terms of its production time but for now i'm just gonna pop these out but yeah so this is definitely gonna be our new method for growing items and it's definitely one that i recommend but like i said this is more of a mid or late game kind of you know setup because you must have eater gas this will not function without this eater gas okay i think that's really all i'm gonna do in this episode i know it's a really short episode but we got to utilize the hydroponic beds and well we're showing one of the many applications of this eater gas like i said the other application would have been to um quadruple not quadruple quintuple our ores which we already have set up and now we are actually utilizing it to grow our various mystical agriculture seeds and produce quite a good bit of various amounts of essence okay so thank you all for watching and take care bye bye now